That's a lot of people blaming themselves for your death. Who, who do you think killed you? If you could blame it on anybody, who would you blame? Tariq. I mean, let's just rip the bandaid off. It's Tariq's fault. I mean, okay, Tariq. I'm just gonna say it. It's, it's, it's Tariq's fault. What's up, guys? It's your girl, Don Shea Hopkins here, and you're watching This Is 50. Don't be cruel. You, you, you blame him in real life. No, I don't. I don't. I don't. Michael is such a sweetheart, and he's like the complete opposite. But um, Tariq, I really, I really do blame Tariq. Mm. Can you tell me why it wasn't Ghost's fault? I mean, it wasn't his fault. Because this past episode, um, he definitely blamed himself. And, uh, you know, Tasha was like, so he's always got to be about you. Well, um, if you were to, 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 like, put yourself inside of a, a spirit mode and come talk to him, what would you tell him why? Daddy, it's not your fault. Um, what would you say to him? I say it's not his How fault. How would you ease the pain? You can't be there all the time. Mm -hmm. And you never know what's going to happen. And your kids are going to grow up. They're going to live their own lives. So you have to let them live their own lives. But you never know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Danger is around every corner. Mm -hmm. It's no one's fault. It's just death happens. Mm -hmm. um, when it comes to your mother, she feels like... Um, Wait, we're talking about my mother or Raina's mother? Raina's mother. Okay. okay. Raina's mother. She feels like that she lied to you guys all your life. And that she should let y'all in on them used to be drug dealers and all that other stuff. W what do you say to that? And because Tyreek definitely wanted to know this. Do, do you think that is necessary? Because Ghost says it's irrelevant. It's necessary. I think they should tell us a little bit about their past, maybe who's kind of coming for their backs right now, just so we can know how to protect ourselves a little bit more. We, so they could have known how to protect themselves. They could have known who was bad, who was good. Maybe if they would have told them about Kanan and his past, maybe Tariq wouldn't have kind of gone to him to like confide in him. Mm. Even though, because Kanan is all for self, and I think we all know that by now. But um, maybe if they, I think if they would have told them the truth, the truth will always set you free. So if they would have told them the truth, I think a lot of things could have been different, and there would have been like what? There would have just been more understanding. I don't think. Ghost and Tariq would have this whole, I'm not going to say beef, but just tension mm -hmm. and hatred towards each other. Mm -hmm. So I think if they would have told the truth, that could have been mm -hmm. um, pushed away. Mm -hmm. And there would be no Dre and Kanan to confide into, which mm -hmm. means there would have been no Ray Ray. Mm -hmm. You know, it's always weird to me too. Uh, Ghost can whoop anybody ass but Tariq. It's so weird. Like, I mean, he do this... <laughs> Karate shit, and, and like on anybody. I'm talking about when he was in, even when he was in jail, it was this guy said some wild stuff to him. Yeah. And he broke his arm damn near by, he did something like, I don't know if I'm doing it, it looked right or not, but he did, and he broke his arm. Yeah. But then when Tariq come up and said, hey, I don't want none of this, shit. fuck you. <laughs> and he, he dodges at him and he can't touch him. I know. I, and, and Tariq don't even look like he can fight. He looks soft as baby shit. And I just keep, I mean, it's confusing to me. Like, what, what do you make of it? I don't know. I see maybe a parent that really wants to beat their kid, but then their subconscious is telling them that's not the right thing to mm -hmm. do. So, honestly, I don't know. I'm starting to think Tariq has some special powers or an angel watching over him or something because he just keeps avoiding everything. So, I, honestly, I don't know. Mm. I don't know. Mm. What, do you, what do you think about your mom? Raina's mom. Okay. So I think I think she just could have been there more. Mm. Just seeing how... Been um, where? Just there for her kids more. Maybe asking them what's going on. Mm. And just like really pushing the question, mm. what is going on? She really fought for you to get back in school now. Performing art school. Yeah, she did. Yeah, she, she did. went hard. So you know, what was it like, what, 50000 a month or something like that? Or? It was something ridiculous for it your was. tuition. It was, it was pretty crazy. Yeah, but, you, you um, went to public school messing with me. Like, what? Yeah, oh, hell no, nah, we good. Yeah, but, we just, t what school Nicki Minaj went to? Yeah, well, let's take it over there. I think, um, I mean, just like more in a motherly sense, I feel like she was more there as a friend, as a presence, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. but, Made sure they had something to eat and, you know, nice place to sleep, but yeah, she but didn't really nurture the, her. Yeah, nurture, if that makes sense. 
Mm-hmm. Like, oh, like, I'm a bird. Yeah. I got you. I see what you're doing. Now, with your mom, and like, uh, we're talking about Don Shay. Okay. Now, rearing, you're 16 now, and y'all the same height, and you still let her tell you what to do? I mean, she does. She's my mom, but I don't think there's a lot of telling me what to do that she has to do, because mm-hmm. I just, I know, like, the my ethics and my morals. I'm pretty good on that. I just think sometimes if, maybe if I don't have my head on straight, she definitely gets me mm-hmm. back in the right place, or if I'm stressed out about anything, she'll just, she'll just talk to me, so mm-hmm. yeah. Y'all damn near the same height now. Almost, is it, is, is it still whooping time or? No, she, she's never beat oh, she, me. She it never, is, you never got a whooping before? No. Get out of here. Cause I wasn't a bad kid. I was just a nerdy kid that liked writing and reading and music and books and acting. So there was never any time for that. So Don Shea, you know, um, this is 50.com, man. Let's talk about it. Um, things that you got coming up. Cause it's always something big and crazy. You always putting us on and surprising us. But at the same time, I'm not surprised. Let's get it, man. Where we going? All right, so we got the Bobby Brown story. No, don't tell me that. You ain't gonna believe this, but I'm one of the biggest Bobby Brown fans in the world. No. Yes, I am. Shut up. In a child, look here. When I was younger, I used to know all the dances. I got the best of Bobby Brown at the house, all the new edition stuff. I watched the new edition movie like 17 times. It was really good. Yeah. It was really, I'm not gonna lie. Did you watch that before too. you even got the part? Yeah, I watched it before I even knew anything about the Bobby Brown story. I watched it when it came out because um, Kayla, who, um, who played Ricky, thank you. It was like a tip of my tongue. That was a good lineup too. Mm-hmm. It was he really Ricky. did look like Ricky. Yeah, Caleb um, played Ricky, and I'm, I'm a huge fan of his, but we actually. Ricky or Caleb? Huh? Caleb. Oh, Caleb. Okay, cool. But I am a, I am a fan of New Edition. Um, oh, really? Yeah, my mom was a fan. So, you know. Get out of here. I, I knew the Who song. your mama was in love with? I can't say that. Come but... on. Come on. I, I need to know this. Is Mike. Is Michael Bivens' man? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll talk about it. We'll talk. Oh, I, Ricky. No. Yeah, you like Darcy? No. It wasn't Ricky. Ralph. Mm-hmm. Way off. I'm way off? It ain't number two more nigga. It was Bobby? Oh, get out of here. I didn't say anything. So this was big for her too. Okay, all right. So let me ask you this question. Like, what did you even know about Bobby Brown before you even did this? I just, I knew his songs, I knew his music. Yeah? Yeah. What about the antics and, you know? Yeah, I knew he, I knew he was a His wild, crazy. bad yeah, boy. Yeah, I knew he was wild. Yeah. He was like, oh, I knew he was pretty crazy. But um, honestly, I was just, a fan. I was a fan of the art. I really didn't care about the headlines and stuff and what there was because you see all these things about celebrities, mm-hmm. but you never really know them until you meet them mm-hmm. because it's such a different mm-hmm. person you see in front of you. Mm-hmm. Like when I met Little Kim, she was such a sweetheart. She mm-hmm. knew who I was, which totally freaked me out because mm-hmm. I was like, this is insane. She was like, my baby. They shouldn't have done that. She was like, I was going crazy, but. Oh, was, y'all the same height? We are the same height. Wow. <laughs> it was it was crazy. Wow. I think, well, actually, without the heels, yeah. Because with the heels on, we were like kind of the same height. She mm. was a little bit taller. But um, we were almost almost same height. But And she was a sweetheart. And it's like not anything that you see, not that persona you see on stage. Because mm. there's always there's always three people when you're a celebrity. The yeah. people you present to your fans, mm. the person you present on stage, and the person that you're off. Back to the Bobby Brown story. Um, you, did you get a chance to meet Bobby Brown? I did. Okay, I did. what was, was that like? It was pretty insane. It was epic. <laughs> it was like, so I think it was my fifth day, my fifth, it could have been my fourth or fifth day on set. I got to meet him. I think it was, I think it might have been my third day. So it was like, I was walking in, I was kind of rushing down because um, they were rushing us in. And then I went to sit down and then he just walked through and I just like stopped because I, I was going over to introduce myself and he was like oh. and he was like it's such an honor to meet you I was like what I was like it's an honor to meet you and he was like just thank you he was like you have no idea how happy this makes me and I was like thank you I was like I can imagine I know I was like man you're the goat he was like the what I was like greatest of all time greatest of all time he was like oh okay thank you he's like I'm gonna use that you and told I, Bobby Brown go yeah wow that's dope <laughs> yeah and I also taught him how to airdrop too I taught a lot of people <laughs> wow. Hey, wh- what was your mama doing when this? Did you look back at her and see how to? She was actually, I think she was in Video Village. 
Oh, she wasn't even in here. No, because you know you have like the set and you have Video Village, which is nearby. Where no, you we don't watch. know what that means. You're, you're no, right. we haven't made it yet over here yet. Okay, okay. You, so, got, you got to do it to take it one step right. at a time. All right, so I'll explain. So we were shooting on location. It was like Sesame Street, Video Village. <laughs> we were shooting on location, and then they had a holding area for us, which was holding like area. upstairs here and making Green everything. room almost. Kinda. Yeah, green room. Green okay, room. Well, you we, can call, watch. we call it holding. But okay. So, you know, the green room's more like for interviews, press, mm -hmm. but um, we had a holding and there was hair and makeup and everything. We didn't have trailers that day. Well, we had trailers, but that was more for like, you know, crafty food services because we were inside. Mm -hmm. And so when we walked down, we were like on set because we taped in a restaurant. I'm not going to say the scene we taped, I had to catch myself, but um, we were in a restaurant that day. So we had to like walk through there and then behind us, like in this other area, the outside area was video Back to the restaurant. Hold on, something just hit me just now. You finna die in this movie? I mean, I am playing um, a real person. Right. Late, amazing Bobby Christina. Wow, you didn't die two times before you were 16. That's amazing. I mean, yeah. I mean, <laughs> you, you got a like, niche. You got a niche. Okay, all right. I think, I think my niche is like making people cry. Yeah. For some weird reason. And it's like, honestly, and when I started taking acting classes, my teachers, they would always give me these dramatic scenes and these emotional scenes. Like, this is actually a random fact that I just, that I was thinking of. They always gave me these emotional scenes. And I, yeah, and I was like, why do you keep giving me this? And I was like, all of, my, all of my acting teachers. And they were like, oh, well, you're just so serious for a four-year-old. I was like... I was literally four doing like scenes about death, like my dog died. Then I, as I got older, it was like, my mother died. And I'm like, why do you guys keep giving me this? And it was like different acting schools, different teachers. Interesting. They kept giving me that. And then, then like finally, as I got older, I started getting more like comedic stuff, which I like because I like making people laugh. And I'm like kind of brutally honest, which when I'm out, I have to tone it down. But it's the New York in me. I mean, I'm just honest and people find it funny especially when i'm out of town like when i was in georgia they were like you're me in georgia <laughs> don't do my state like that i love no i love georgia especially atlanta everyone is so dope everyone was really nice but y'all gotta work on your vegan food i mean there were some really bomb vegan spots but we need more as a vegan we we, we need more more vegan spots we need more vegan spots she's vegetarian i'm vegan but we, we need more vegan spots. What's the difference? Okay, so the difference between vegan, vegans don't eat anything from animal. No meat, no dairy, none of that. No eggs. So we're completely plant-based. We eat like meat alternatives, which there are so many really amazing, delicious brands out there. Like um, Just For All, Gardein. There's a lot of stuff, which I'll talk about after this. But, um, and my mom is a vegetarian because the only thing that like separates us is she eats eggs, but more for health reasons. Because um, when I was growing up, she was more like completely plant-based. She just ate chocolate. She just ate chocolate? Yeah. And chocolate is not a... Oh, that has no. milk in it. Yeah, milk chocolate. Gotcha. But dark chocolate doesn't. That's why it tastes like that? Yeah. Oh, so okay. So dark chocolate is just like pure chocolate. Like the mm. cacao beans and... Mm. Yeah, that. yeah, I don't like that. You don't like it? You I don't got, like dark chocolate. You gotta chocolate. find a good, a good brand. That's probably what it is. Yeah. Because yeah. there are certain brands. Some are too bitter where mm. it's just like raw. Mm. Like um, cocoa beans and stuff. But you gotta find a really good brand that has like sugar in it. You know your chocolates. I do. Word, word. So connecting with Bobby Christina, like how are you guys similar? So, I mean, we both, again, appreciation for the art. She really, really appreciate the arts and when I was researching her I just found so many amazing little gems of her um, singing and then as I was researching the whole cast they just kind of did their research on everybody so whenever we found something we would just send it to one another to kind of help each other and there were so many pictures in the bond that she shared with her mom I can totally relate the bond that me and my mom have and just really researching her I was so emotional I would literally research until like five in the morning, especially before work, because I just you know you just want to get it right, especially when her family is produ when when the oh, family yeah. is behind you. This is it, serious, yeah. You you really gotta bring it. Mm. So I just wanted to just bring it and be there and just represent her in a really good light because there were a lot of misconceptions about her. People were like she was on drugs, she wasn't on drugs. 
I mean, she just, a lot of, which a lot of people thought that, which I thought was really weird because she wasn't. She just, as she got into her adult life, she just drunk a little bit, but that, that was it. She was, she was a good person. She, was she like, wasn't on cocaine? No, no. She Get out of here. Yeah. Wow. So the boy that, that was, she was with. Nick. Nick, Nick um, Gordon. Gordon. Yes. Um, the guy that played him. So he's not in. He's not in it. But uh, <laughs> so, like, so, so they did the whole movie, and they. That's amazing. This is the best shit I've heard in my life. Like he's part of the story, but he's not part of the story. They, they didn't get like you know what? What's mm-hmm. getting him so much? That we ain't gonna put him in the movie. We gonna talk about the things that's going on in the relationship without. <laughs> that's brilliant. I would do that shit. You know how much you gotta hate somebody to <laughs> where they can't be in the biopic. <laughs> that's that's a Ripley's belief. <laughs> that's a fun fact. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Okay, so you didn't have to kiss nobody or nothing in there? No. no. That's dope. Okay, cool, cool. He let you off the hook. Okay. Um, are you looking forward to your first, like, romant- romantic boyfriend scene inside of a um, film? I mean, I've kind of had one before. Not, like, really. You had a boyfriend in a... In a, in a um... Well, a love interest, not really a boyfriend. But okay. in um, The Detour, season two of The Detour. Okay. When I played Chase. But it was more of, like, it was, like awkward, funny sort of thing. But I can't really explain it to this day. I can't even explain it. It's just really funny. And honestly, to watch those scenes, it was painfully awkward. But I mean, you just... You, <laughs> you laugh. Do you laugh a lot when you're watching it? Huh? It doesn't make you laugh a lot when you no, watch it's it. It's more like, like cringy, like... I'm about to kiss him. I'm about to kiss him. <laughs> but we didn't, we didn't actually kiss. So that was kind of... That was the fun part. Because I think we were both really kind of... I, I Honestly, I think... Um, Liam, who played my love interest, who plays Jared on the detour, he was honestly, it seemed like he was more nervous than I actually was, because I was like, okay, it's acting, I just gotta just do it and get it over with, and then, then he was like, uh, I really don't want to kiss, like, we both were, <laughs> we didn't want to do it, but um, we didn't have to do it, it was just a lot of, like, editing and mm-hmm. camera tricks. Oh, know? good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. But it, it was overall, it was really fun, and they're just so fun to work with over there. Excellent, excellent. Um, I'm, I'm glad you uh, you got some. This is really big. And when does it come out to? September 4th and 5th. So it's a two-night event. The... It's a two-part? Yes, yeah, two-part. Okay. It's, like, it's kind of like a little mini-series, mm-hmm. biopic movie. So like the That's first right night... That's right around the corner, too. Okay. Yeah, so, so the first night is um, mostly just about Bobby Brown. Mm-hmm. Then on the second night, we'll see more of his family life, his mm-hmm. behind-the-scenes life. So. Mm-hmm. I like the commercial. The yeah. promo commercialism, everything. Really oh man, yeah, it, it just say it all right there. But that's honestly just telling like a small portion. Oh yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. I can imagine. He got layers, and even like some of the, the craziest things that I, I heard he did and whatnot. This is one that is kind of. I can't talk about it with you, but I really, I really like Bobby Brown. He's a really big guy. I got a chance to talk to him about it too. But I'll tell y'all that later, and we're going to do that inside the Bobby Brown interview. Word. So what else you got going on? Okay, so I have some um, concerts coming up. I'm awful with Oh! Oh! <laughs> so I have a concert on the 25th, right? Are we still, we're not sure about that? Not sure. Scream 5. So we're not sure, but who knows? We I'm, I might be doing something on 25th. I am doing a giveaway on the 18th with DJ Self. Mm-hmm. And when it gets, come. Huh? 19th, see? I said, Mama I'm off she, she knows everything. Okay. She's my calendar. But um, on the 19th, and that's at Tompkins Park in Brooklyn. Tompkins Park, right? Tompkins Park. Well, Vonkin Park, but you know, if you're from Brooklyn, you call it Tompkins Park. So um, that's in Brooklyn, that's on the 19th, and I just got a lot of stuff going on. New, new music um, project? Is yes, new, new music, new music. It's going to be some good music. So mm-hmm. it's about to be some good stuff that's in what, What's a song that you got to listen to? Like every every time you turn on your anger? On your phone. phone. Yeah. What's a song you always got to listen to? What's your go-to? Let me give me a new one and give me an old one. Okay. A new one and an old one. So probably far as old, Feeling Good, by Nina Simone. Wow. Or, um, and... I didn't see that one coming. 
and new I don't know probably anything Beyonce that just like always gets me hyped and ready for my day that's what I'm listening to right now Boss I love Boss with her and Jay-Z uh-huh. oh my god really? I've yeah. heard about it yeah, it's on the, the, the Jay Z, uh, Beyonce Carter, mm-hmm. the Meet the Carter. Oh yeah, no, everything, um, everything is love. That's the name of it. Oh okay. By the Carters. Okay. But what she said. See, see, I'm a hardcore. I only, Beyonce I only got person. one song off of it. That's what happened. You only listen to one? I only did one. I, just, I heard it in the club Yo, and I was like, you gotta like, listen to all of them. All of it. All of it. I was scared. I wasn't gonna like it. You know, like it's a dope album. It's different. It's really different. But it's, yeah, when I heard him doing trappy stuff, that's when it was like, oh yeah. Okay, I don't want to hear Beyonce do you, trap. She has to evolve. I mean, she has I to think evolve. that's the devolving. No, it's evolve because listen, a lot of people that listen to stuff on the radio these days. I'm not gonna say all, but just a lot of people. They just want something they can bop their head to. People really aren't listening. To but you know, you, you know that you're a millennial, though, right? You, you know uh, this is your people. Uh, uh, I'm not a millennial. This is your I'm people. No. Generation Z. Generation Z. What, what, what years is them? Babies born from 1999 to 2004. And why you get a Z? I don't know why it's a Z. Why are millennials millennials? I mean, but ain't you with the little pump people and the and the the little Zane the 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 XXX No, I'm not with them. You not with them. That's not your people. No. The scissors and. No, unfortunately, little pump. But I mean, I'm, t- I'm down with Gucci Gang, so I mean, but um, no, not all, not all of them are my people. Some of them, so. Mm-hmm. Famous Dex and. How old is Famous Dex? I don't know. What is he like? Is he 18? 18. So he, yeah, he's he's Gen he's Z. Z. He's Gen Z. What, what does the Z stand for? I don't know what the Z stands <laughs> it's for. It's provocative. I just. <laughs> it gets the people, people going. going. Gosh. So, what, do you have a new name for a project? Is it gonna be an EP, or are you doing an album this time? I'm doing an album. Okay. Um, that's really my main focus, mm-hmm. and I can't even get any sleep because of this album. So, I'm doing the album. I'm really, really hoping and pushing that it can be out by the end of this month. Mm-hmm. But realistically, I know it's not. But we will at least have about like one to two songs out, probably two or three, mm-hmm. the most. But I'm mm-hmm. um, definitely gonna get some singles out. Mm-hmm. But it should be out maybe the beginning of October. I'm um, September, beginning. Of Beginning of the fall. Yeah. Okay. You got a name for it already? Or we got to keep that under wraps. Or we got to come back. I mean, there are some names, but I don't know. I don't really have a name for it. Yet. You, it's it's still untitled. I got you. I got you. She on her D'Angelo thing right now, <laughs> right? I can dig it. I can dig it. Anything you want to say to this is fifty four? We get about you. Um, follow me on Instagram at Donshay underscore Hopkins, Twitter at Donshay H. Everything else is Donshay Hopkins. That's D O N S H E A. Second of all, this is not real because a lot of people were going in on my Instagram comments. This is by Inkbox, and they're a really amazing brand, and they do like semi permanent tattoos. So you go online, order one. If you're gonna order one, use my code. It's Donshay D three. That's my code. And so, what are some other things coming? Hold on, before you go on, like, what, you, so you could do it yourself? Or? You do it yourself. So it's like they send you this little kit. You put on the gloves. It's like this patch of, like, ink, and it has, like, the design you want on it. And then you can even, like, design your own online. But then they have this other one that's, like, free ink where it's literally, like, you're drawing your own design. But I'm not that good. So I just got one of the ones already, like, pre-made. And... But other than that, it comes out really cool. It doesn't develop for like 24 hours. So when you take it off, you think that you did it wrong because literally nothing's going to show. Then like 12 hours later, it starts to darken. And then voila. I'm old. I'm old. Hey, man, I, I, um, yeah. Go and get that. Go and get it. She's having fun with it. It's not real. And uh, she did it. Let me see. I'm, 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 I didn't even see it. Yep, that looks real. Mm-hmm. What do they think of that? The accessory line. So I'm dropping my own accessory line. Okay, what kind of accessories? Um, everything from sunglasses to bracelets to rings. I'm trying to do everything. And um, even some clothes. Phone cases? Too. Phone cases, mm-hmm. too. Um, and even some clothes, but that'll probably come later on. Mm-hmm. But if you guys do come out to my events, maybe you could get a sneak peek and some items before everyone else. That makes and, sense. Yeah, and it's called Don Shay and Co. And it's I like that. Yeah. yeah. It was the theme for my party, and then I was like, you know what? Why don't I just 
make an accessory line. That's beautiful. And I had, because I had sunglasses left over for my party. Mm. Yeah, for my sweet 16. So I was like, you know what? I want to I wanna give these to my fans. I want people to see them. Mm. And I want to do some more stuff too. So it's going to be, I'm really excited for this. And I'm excited for you. And I'm really excited about this Bobby Brown movie. Super excited. It, it's gonna be such an eye opener for a lot of people. I need my Even, open. especially if you weren't a fan, mm. you really should watch this. Mm. You really should. Watch this. And that's what this one thing that I enjoyed about the whole new edition movie that it made a, a, a lot of the the um, with the Generation Z and the generation other the other ones before y'all like they really uh, got into who new edition was whether the songs and all that, it educated them. Yeah. Yeah, because I think that we, it, you guys come from an era where um, yeah, it's so much at your fingertips to, to, to go watch at any time. You could Google it. That's only if you want to. When we were growing up, you know, it wasn't much. And so, you know, you turn on the radio and that's what it was. Hey, this is more of this. And then you have to go research and really go find it and ask questions about it. And so I appreciate the, uh, the OG of the movie. You know what I'm saying? I, I call those OG movies because it's it's uh it's training the young, you know? Yeah, so y'all make sure y'all look out for that, man. We got Don Shea Hopkins over here. You know, this is not the first time she's been here, and it's not gonna be the last one. Make sure you go get the music and get her tattoos, get the accessories. <laughs> it's coming out, man. Um Don Shea and Cole. Yes. Genius. Thank you. Hey, you just can't say you're really something we gotta be, man. We over when we out of here. Do you have something in mind? I see y'all soon.